it's Steel Game Sort, and once again we are back on Bio Mutant. So let's see what bosses and monsters are up for us next. Ha ha! Bio Mutant. Do do do. Okay, we are here. I feel like I've been here before. I want to. I feel like I'm here before. Oh, okay, no man haven't been here before. This is new. Puzzles, you found a puzzle! These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. Ooh. Oh, the colors need to match each other. Okay, I think this is starting to make sense. And done. What? What? What's happening? There are few records of the oh. chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their oh. rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began Holy. dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the Ooh. radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Okay. Unexpected, but okay. Let's go. Why to me I feel like I've been here sometime? Have I? The sound Whoa. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Okay. Okay. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Oh, puzzling. Okay, this is like the same, but we have to make sure. Okay, where do we make the colors match? Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we're going to have a fight. Okay, let's remember my buttons. Let's go. You want to fight, guys? Or is this going to help us? Airstrike. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. And I say, a teammate has some good health. Hiya, go, go, go. Pow. Holy. That teach him. 
go, go, go! That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, we have to follow him. Oh. A new friend, an old friend. Oh, we have a friend now. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Familiar? He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Okay, let's see, remember what? How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. My mind exploded officially. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Okay. You know, I think I'm starting to lose my mind right now. The impending threat of the world eaters bringing down the tree of life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. What? 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 What just happened? What? Oh wow, look at my character. Well, guys, we have made a new friend. Woohoo! Oh, wait, I'm playing as a child. Okay, let's go. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I think Mooma means mum in this game, but let's go uh, silly mode and press I don't think she cares. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Moomer's love. <laughs> he 
He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Potato people? Mm, yeah. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. I don't believe in magic. <laughs> magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Well, we have a new main quest. Come on, let's celebrate. We are back as a child. We are in the past. Whoa, look at our jump. Hello. I uh, don't have a good feeling about this. I can sense danger from a mile away. Ooh. And it doesn't smell too nice. Whoa. Look at this area, bro. That's called glitter glass. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. Well, well, well. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Hello. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. <laughs> What's this guy? Oh, I need to get it. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Okay, where can I find them? <laughs> They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. Oh, wait, it's glitter grass. Oh. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. New main quest. The, okay. The Enosculated Pensai. Whatever that is. Okay. Oh, is that the Tree of Life again? I think we should put the nono in it. Uh, 
Oh, so that's what Nono no does. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. I think he lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. End of days? What's that? What? Oh. Dolua lu doluka kim horbe be kuku hi fad muk. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. Holy. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Hmm. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Ooh. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Holy moly, schmackaroni. My mind exploded. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Holy. Ooh. Parky Puff, how can I defeat the world of you? His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eater. I think he's over with the talk. The world. Yay, and now we have to run. Take all. But where do I go now? Where do I go now? Okie dokie. Where do we go, bruh? Out here? You're getting the hang of it. 